This video will show the appropriate steps for pre-cleaning solid instrumentation at the point of use immediately after the procedure in a clinic or inpatient setting. Pre-cleaning helps ensure effective sterilization and disinfection. This is a critical step in preventing the buildup of biofilm. Water, combined with detergents or enzymatic agents, effectively removes gross visible material and prevents the drying of blood, soil, and debris on the surface and within lumens of reusable medical devices. We will show two ways of performing this task. One, using pre-cleaning spray and another without the spray using a Humipack system. Please follow the steps as directed by your department. Always refer to the manufacturer's instructions for use, or IFU, to ensure the products are used appropriately. The items that will be required for pre-cleaning with a spray include exam gloves, eye and face protection, gauze or disposable chuck, pre-cleanse spray, transport container, and tracking document. For appropriate steps for pre-cleaning with a spray, immediately after the procedure, don gloves and eye and face protection. You can use a mask with a face shield or mask with goggles. Begin by placing a chucks pad or gauze onto a solid surface. With the sharp end pointed away from you, utilize the bread and butter method to remove gross soil from the solid instrumentation. For educational purposes, we are using cake icing. Carefully open any hinged instrumentation to an open position as shown. Place the instrument into the transport container. Spray the instruments with the pre-cleanse bottle, making sure that the instruments are thoroughly and evenly soaked. Dispose of all contaminated chucks and gauze in a red bag waste container. Remove PPE and complete hand hygiene. If your hands get contaminated during glove removal, immediately wash them with soap and water. Place the lid on the container and secure the latches. Complete the tracking documentation. Transport the container to the designated hub or reprocessing site or contact the courier for transport to the designated hub or reprocessing site. If you work in an area that does not use pre-cleaning spray, you will need exam gloves, eye and face protection, Humipack, a specimen cup and water for the Humipack, gauze or disposable chuck, transport container, and tracking document. For appropriate steps, for pre-cleaning with the Humipack system immediately after the procedure, don gloves and eye and face protection. You can use a mask with a face shield or mask with goggles. Begin by placing a chucks pad or gauze onto a solid surface. With the sharp end pointed away from you, utilize the bread and butter method to remove gross soil from the solid instrumentation. Activate the Humipack according to the instructions listed on the Humipack. Measure the water level needed. There are many ways to instill water into the Humipack system. Refer to your department for instructions. Place the instruments inside the Humipack. Place the pack inside an approved transport container. Dispose of all contaminated chucks and gauze in a red bag waste container. Remove PPE and complete hand hygiene. If your hands get contaminated during glove removal, immediately wash them with soap and water. Place the lid on the container and secure the latches. Complete the tracking documentation. Transport the container to the designated hub or reprocessing site or contact the courier for transport to the designated hub or reprocessing site. 